Okay, so now I'm going to get ready and do the landscaping grass on the top of here. What I've done is I've taped off the edges of it and I've outlined where my house is going to be and where I want it to go and where I don't want it to go. Okay, all the wiring you see is for the electric. So the very first thing I need to do is I need to paint it. And I'm going to be using some acrylic because that's what I have and I'm going to um, go ahead and paint it with that. You may want to primer it first and um, I'm just basically using the acrylic so that it's a lighter um, green under it as opposed to having the wood color. So when I go to apply the grass then you will only see the grass. Alright, so I've got some of it covered with the first coat and then um, that's all it's going to need for paint. Just enough to kind of get rid of that wood color because we're going to be putting the scenic grass stuff over top of this along with some Mod Podge and stuff. So, we'll let that dry and I'll move on and do the rest of it. And I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got the top part all green where I want it to be. The brown in the middle is where the house sits. We don't need to paint that. All right, once this dries, then what we'll do is go ahead and continue the process with the stuff that's going to go on top, the fluffy, like, grass kind of stuff. All right, so we'll be right back after it dries. Okay, now the next step is you want to put some glue on top of here to hold the grass that's going to go on here. Now I'm going to be just using some regular old Mod Podge. At this point it doesn't matter if it's gloss or if it's flat or matte. Um, it probably would be better to do matte because then it wouldn't have any shine if you didn't get the grass to cover it completely. However, I have this 32 ounce bottle that I've had forever and it needs to be used so that's what I'm going to use. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put Mod Podge on here and then I'll show you how we're going to apply the grass. Alright, so now I have some Mod Podge on there. I'm going to go ahead and take my turf blend that I have and I'm going to fill it in a sifter. And I'm just going to kind of sift it all around on here. Make sure you put something on the floor to catch the leftovers because you don't want to have a mess to clean up. Now, the material that I'm using is the stuff that I made with the sawdust with a little bit of different colors blended in it. I've added some brown, some dark green. Just to give it more of a grassy feel. Okay, so when this dries completely, we can either tip it over and knock off the excess, or we can um, lightly vacuum it up. All right, so I'm gonna continue this process all the way around and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it all on here now. I just need for it to dry. And what I've done is I've kind of blowed it a little bit with my mouth going. Just trying to get all of the stuff that's loose off of the top of it into the middle so it'd be easier to suck up with the vacuum. But um, that's basically what it's going to look like. 
I may add a little bit more when it's done. Make sure when you're doing it that you leave your wires and your holes available so that you can still add to that if you're doing electric. Like right here, there's a wire under there somewhere. Yeah. So, all right. Just make sure that um, you leave those wires available if you plan on using them. All right, and I will be back with more. Okay, so once you have it all on there, you can go back and take off all of your taped edges. And then you should have a nice clean look. And it should look like that. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, the middle is not perfect because I just kind of went over in a little bit where I knew the windows were going to be. And um, I just kind of didn't really care about that because it's not going to be seen. It's going to be under the dollhouse. But that's kind of what it's going to look like. Now, I can always go back and add more to it later if when it dries, I think it needs more. You just would put more Mod Podge on top of that and then sprinkle it. Right now, be careful when you're taping off to use painter's tape, not um, masking tape, like I did, because the masking tape will not stick fully like painter's tape will. Well, All right, well, that's it for this, and I hope that was helpful. And don't forget to follow. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Okay, guys, well, that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, we'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well, and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs so you don't want to miss that and also if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done along with a few other things and then you know you can comment there or you can comment below if you have any questions you're more than welcome to leave them and we will get to them as soon as we can but other than that we're going to continue working on this miniature madness because we're having a ball. And thanks for watching and have a great day.